Hey guys, Will here, and back when I was just a mere 15 years of age, I bought a Nikon D3100 off eBay to pursue a hobby in photography. This also later led me on to make YouTube videos, which is why I'm doing this right now. But there was always one piece of software that I could always really rely on to take my photos to the next level. Lightroom. I love Lightroom for many reasons, however, definitely my favourite feature about it is that people can make their presets, upload them, and then other people can use them. So today I'm bringing you my top 5 free Lightroom presets. Okay, so we're on the computer, the first preset is one called Skyfall, I found this while browsing the internet, and I simply love this preset. It's really awesome. I love how it looks faded without looking overly faded like an Instagram filter. Something else I love about this preset is how it fits pretty much anything, for example this wasp photo or the thumbnail which I did make using Skyfall. Overall, really, really great preset and I can highly recommend it. The download links along with their original creators. I didn't make any of these so it would be wrong to say that I did, I'm simply just showcasing some of my favourites. Alright, so our next preset's called Rizzle Dizzle. Now hilarious name aside, this is actually a really good preset. It's sort of got like a low contrast cold look. Again, it's got a little bit of a fade in if we take a look at the curve. However, it's much colder than the other ones and I just really like this lot overall. I wouldn't say it works great on this picture, but there are certainly loads of examples where this does look incredible. Next, we have the Lifestyle Blogger 11 preset, which again, I absolutely love. I love all of the presets in this pack. They're just really, really good presets. It's got sort of a vintage vibe to it and I reckon if we add just a little bit of grain, there we go, we've got a really nice image. Next we've got something a bit more contrasty with Into the Wild. Now I really, really like purpley looks in my photos. So it reminds me of like Ash and Dash's color grading on YouTube. Okay Google, remind me to thank Ash and Dash for having rhyming names. When do you want to be reminded? Um... Finally guys, we have Garden Grove, which is just a nice low contrast saturated LUT. Because of this, it works on pretty much everything. Now we can add a bit more contrast if we want that more of a look and we can desaturate it if we want. But overall, I think Garden Grove is a really nice look. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video. If you wanna see more content like this, then please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 3K by the end of the year. Be sure to check out the download links for these presets in the description. I'm done and I'll see you guys on Monday. Yeah, we on the